countdown has begun my warriors and you've got only 45 days for your upcoming j main first attempt and whenever time is less you should be absolutely sure that where exactly you're going to spend your time in and more than that you should be aware that where exactly you're not going to spend your time in as we say that the essence of any strategy is choosing what not to do so in this session in this video, we are going to talk about the actual high weighted chapters of your J main 2025 first attempt so that you should understand that what are the priority chapters and what are not the priority chapters. Okay. So, and this is completely based on the five year trend analysis, complete five year trend analysis that what are the priority chapters. So, in this session, I am going to talk about the priority chapters of all three subjects, physics, chemistry and mathematics. But before that, one thing I would like to tell you about high weighted chapters that it is not that simple as it seems. It seems that okay, high weighted chapter, if I say that okay, definite integration is one of the highest weighted chapter, it tops the list. So do it right away, it doesn't work like that. Because if you pick definite integration, start reading, start doing the questions you will realize oh functions is getting utilized or function is something which is needed to solve a definite integration question so that means order or sequence of any priority or high weighted chapter is very very important so you have to understand that also keeping this in mind keeping the trend analysis in mind i have done my job i am here to give you the final final priority list that you should do this topic, this shop topics are skippable. So you have to take your decision. I will present the list in front of you. So here you can see that priority number one will start with mathematics, of course. Priority number one. So every subject, I am going to give you four different lists. Okay. So for each subject, you are going to have four list of chapters. Priority number one, as you can see that since past five years, consistently without any exception these seven chapters are high weighted chapters okay so if you talk about the if i just talk about in detail so vector algebra and 3d geometry you can expect two to three questions from this these two chapters every year it is happening okay so this tops the list also if i talk about prerequisite of these two chapters straight lines is something basics of straight lines are required to understand these two chapter and to decode any question to crack any question from these two chapters that is first thing then comes definite integration again i told you it is a high weighted chapter and functions is also high weighted chapters two questions from each chapter per shift you can expect now if you go and uh, start doing definite integration it will not work for you you have to finish functions first then you have to do definite integration. So two, two questions each, then differential equation, two questions you can expect and you also know this. Differential equation has a prerequisite of basics of differentiation and integration. I'm not saying that go and just complete indefinite integration, no. But you should be aware about basics of these prerequisite chapter in mathematics, okay. So and binomial theorem and sequence and series again, two, two questions you can expect per shift consistently since past five years it is happening. Sometimes one question is happening, but overall two, two questions you can expect. So if you understand, if you calculate approximately 12 questions, you can expect from these seven chapter. Now 12 questions, 12 fours are, you can see 48 marks alone. You can score from these chapters. Also, you have pre prerequisite, which is having quadratic and trigonometry as well. Basics, you should know right so this is priority number one now ma'am what is priority number two priority number two is something some year you will see that these are the high weighted chapters but some years you will see that oh these are the medium or moderate or sometimes even low weighted chapter so the consistency in past five years is not there that is why i have kept in it in priority number two matrices and determinants sometimes you will see three questions also sometimes you will see two questions okay so this is how it is matrices and determinant then application of derivative if i just go back in 2024 the trend has gone down for this chapter 
but usually application of def, def, uh, def, uh, application of derivatives is a high weighted chapter if i talk about the if i just leave the exceptions okay so this is why this is in priority number 2 then same goes with statistics straight lines pnc probability and complex numbers okay so you can decide and the sequence is very important you can't be picking just a complex number before matrices and determinant because this is definitely a gem okay and this is not having any prerequisite as well sometimes they give this question matrices and determinant plus pnc so you should be aware about the hybrid questions as well priority number 2 priority number 3 again minimum one question so you can expect from all these chapters like quadratic equation again this is a prerequisite chapter for all the mathematics chapter as well so this is so you have to do it then circles limits area differentiation sets in relation continuity and differentiability priority number 3 and now priority number 4 which is having conic section conic section is something which is not carrying high weightage in any of the shifts so this is again sometimes you will not see a question from ellipse and hyperbola only parabola you will see sometimes you will only see ellipse question okay same goes with itf if it's there it's there otherwise itf question is missing in each and every shift okay then trigonometry and indefinite integration again these two are prerequisite chapters so basics should be clear the formulas you should know but again if i talk about the actual weightage in the question wise very less sometimes zero questions are also there from these chapters so this is all about mathematics now you you must have observed one fact in mathematics that priority number 1 priority number 1 list is giving you 48 marks and you know what 50 marks will give you 99 percentile that means that your uh, mathematics weightage is inclined towards priority list number 1 or is inclined towards high weighted chapter similar thing can be noticed over here in chemistry you can see chemistry so yes in chemistry also priority list number 1 will give you approximately 45 marks but again to score 99 percentile in chemistry 45 marks is not not enough approximately you have to score 75 plus marks to get 99 percentile okay so 75 plus should be your target okay so that's why the things are different in chemistry you have to target two at least two list if you want to touch 99 percentile priority list number 1 from goc 3 to 4 questions you can expect again organic is clubbed in priority list number 1 then these three are again high weighted chapter sometimes these three yeah sometimes these three chemical bonding coordination compound d and f block so this will give you maximum weightage in priority list number 1 then structure of atoms and solution GOC is something which is highest, which tops the list. Three to four. It is not even in mathematics. This one chapter is giving you three to four question. So GOC is something which carries at most priority in your chemistry. Then we are having priority list number two. Again, the consistency in this is a little bit dicey. So sometimes you get one question, sometimes you get two questions. sometimes one of the chapter might give you three questions as well so that is why it is in priority number 2 similar priority number 3 you can see over here and the can you see the list is having the this the segment wise chapters as well organic together inorganic together physical together so you can clearly see the list is like that and now in physics now physics is something which is quite balanced which is not a good news by the way because in physics if you do these seven chapters you will not even touch 40 marks approximately 36 marks you can expect from the priority list number 1 and obviously to score 99 percentile unlike mathematics you have to score 75 plus 80 marks in physics okay so this is how your distribution is so that is why only 36 marks you will score from priority list number 1 so if you have to score you have to target more chapters if you want to score 99 percentile in physics so you have to understand the difference between all three subjects so again priority list number 2 you can clearly see okay and then uh, the, these are priority 3 medium weightage and priority list number 4 
lowest weighted chapters you can clearly see from this okay so i hope that you guys have taken the screenshot and uh, i will give you the pdf also if you want just write the comment right in the comment section if you want the pdf of this also also now the, in this session we have not spoken about the strategy this session was very the video was very crisp we are we only spoke about the chapters high weightage low weightage okay now which chapters to skip what should be your strategy should i learn theory should i learn should i do pyq every if you want that strategy it is like it is not just very easy that okay do this do this to every student i can't tell i have to know that how much syllabus you have completed je minka so you have to write down in the comment section that ma'am only 50% of syllabus is done 60% of the syllabus is done so accordingly the strategy will be different i am going to uh, bring another video of strategy one thing number 2 if you are have started given the mock test i hope that you are giving mock test just tell your mock test score in the comment section so that i can create one strategy for your mock, mock, mock test score okay and if not giving you can just simply write not started mock giving mock test okay so do comment so that i can think about the strategy for your for your situation basically okay i'm going to see you in next video